Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tastic Cakes. It's Jen and I'm gonna show you how to make a dump truck out of gum paste. Okay, just like always, if there's any tools or supplies you see me using that you think you could use, if you check the description, there's a link that should be able to help you out. Okay, now I am starting with black gum paste. I rolled it out maybe a quarter of an inch thick here and I'm using my circle cutter, as you see, to make four tires. We're starting with the tires first for my little yellow dump truck. I'm using my rolling pin, the end of it there, to just kind of press down the center to kind of hollow it out a little bit, but not all the way. My dump truck is honestly gonna be kind of cheaty style, so I need those to be pretty solid and able to support the weight so don't make them hollow in the center. And I'm making them first so they can dry. Because like I said, they're going to support the weight so they have to be nice and firm and sturdy. Use my knife blade, as you saw, to make some ridges in the tires. And now I'm rolling up my yellow gum paste really thin using my little circle there to just put the centers inside the tires. So I'm painting a little bit of water in there and then I'm taking my yellow circles and just pressing them down into the center. So they're going to dip in a little bit and that is fine. We're going for the look like that and yeah there you go i'm using my rolling pin once again the end of it just kind of press it down nice and tight in the center of each yellow i'm putting a little ball of black gum paste and i'm using my ball tool there to press it down again i'm not really sure what it's called those parts but yeah there you go and i'm using my paintbrush to push for indentations on each tire in the yellow you can kind of see it in this scene just to give the idea of lug nuts all right this yellow wad that i'm working on and cutting now is going to be the cab of the truck it is kind of like a rounded rectangle shape as you see. I cut the bottom off because it was kind of too tall. And then using my rolling pin, I pressed down halfway in the center like that. See what I'm doing there? And that's going to become the hood of the truck and then like the little cab part. So now that I've got that cut out, I'm going to get my blue, roll it very, very thin. And I'm cutting a couple of rectangles out. These are gonna become the windows and the windshield of my vehicle. So that long one there, it's gonna to be too big, but that's okay. I'm just gonna get the idea and mark off when I put it in place there, mark off how long it should be, and then trim off the marks that you make just so it's the right length. I also noticed it was a little too tall, so I trimmed it shorter that way also. And now I'm kind of rounding off the edges. I'm just taking the corners off at the top a little bit. My dump truck is more um, rounded and cartoony looking. It's not realistic, you know, it's just more playful. So I'm not looking for real sharp edges or, or crisp realism here. I'm just looking for more whimsical and fun and still looking like a dump truck. At the end of the day, you know what it is. All right, you saw I put two little rectangles on either side of blue and I used a gray circle with a smaller blue circle in the center. Those were my headlights. Put them in place with a little bit of water. This gray is rolled out a little bit thicker. It's gonna be the grill of the truck and I'm using my lollipop stick there to make pressure marks to make it look more like a proper grill. And then when you have it to the right size and everything, just use a little bit of water and press it into place. Now I'm taking this same gray, I rolled it out thinner and I'm trying to cut a nice long skinny strip. I'm gonna outline my windows now. So I painted water around the windows on the truck already. That's why it's kind of sticking. And once you get it wrapped around and you like the length of it, you like how it looks, just take your X-Acto knife and trim off the extra and then there you go. Okay, we're gonna keep that gray that we were working with and we're gonna make the side mirrors now. Just two little gray rectangles. I don't think you needed to see me cut it out. I put a little bit of water on the side of the cabs, stick them on, there you go. Okay, so far so good, right everybody? Okay, here's where we're gonna get a little creative. I took my cab and I put it on a piece of cake plate. It was kinda hard to see, but I cut a rectangle out of my cake plate to fit the size of the bed of the truck and also the cab of the truck. So that's that little, there it is. You gotta be quick, but it's there. And now I'm cutting a thicker piece of yellow gum paste and I am measuring it out. As you can see, I keep pulling it back and forth, laying it over the truck. See, there's the cake plate that I mentioned. I'm measuring it out so it folds over the top of the cab and then down over the back of the cake plate and there's a little bit extra sticking out the back because I'm going to take, as you can see here, my lollipop stick and fold it up. So it's got a little bit of a tailgate. It probably should have been bigger. It, well, not probably, it should be bigger. It should have a bigger tailgate, but that's what I did. I'm using my lollipop stick again to make some impressions across the top just because that's what it kind of looks like to me. And then I'm gonna move on to the sides of my bed of the truck. I took the same thickness of gum paste, it's as thick as my stirring sticks there, so I don't know, eighth of an inch maybe? And I just cut a big piece and now I'm measuring it out. Now I've got the height, so I'm going to cut my rectangle, so I've got the right height. 
put it back on, get the length so I know how far down it's got to go. So you see I'm just marking it with my knife, cut off the extra. So I've still got a rectangle here, but now I'm going to round off the back. I honestly don't know, again, how realistic that is. I was working off of a toy, not an actual picture of a truck because they wanted to keep it, keep it more whimsical. But anyway, there you go. So I took the one that I made, copied it onto another piece of gum paste. Now I got two identical pieces. I put some water along the edge, along the bottom and the one side, using uh, my fondant smoother and everything, trying to get it to stay in place. And you can see it's a little floppy, a little droopy, but that's okay. We're going to take care of that. And once it hardens, it won't have that anymore. And this is, again, where gum paste works better than fondant, because fondant will kind of keep its droopiness. So I'm using a little piece of paper towel there, as you can see, to support it. I put it aside, I let it dry for the night. Okay, next day I came back, I added these side pieces onto the walls of the bed of the truck cause it looked cooler that way. I liked how it looked. <laughs> and I put four on each side and there it is. The same thing on the other side, the same distance. It looks pretty good, right? Okay, now we're going to work with the wheels. Take a look at the wheels. You see what I did here? I had made them really thick, remember? And I cut them down halfway and then out halfway. So I kind of cut like a wedge out of each tire. This is so when they're nice and hard, that bed, the um, cardboard that the truck is sitting on, will sit right on those little lips on those tires and the tires will support the weight and it'll be like flush up against the truck properly. The tires will actually go underneath the vehicle a bit and it will look really good. So okay, I am making some like fenders, I don't know what they are, uh, covers for the tires. And I just took my yellow gum paste, I held it up where it should be, and trimmed off the extra of those up and down verticals I got there because they were just in the way and not, not working. I had to remove them. I have it all measured out. There you go. Keep putting it back. If you have to trim off more, go ahead and trim off more. But then it all kind of matches up nice and neat. You see how that is? It's, it's actually pretty cool. I was a little sneaky with that. And like I said about the cake plate, don't worry about that because we're going to hide it. The tires are big enough with the rims and everything that you're not going to see it on the sides. And on the front, we're going to add a bumper that'll show you a little bit. And on the back, I think I put a little bit of a tailgate. And if I didn't, then I meant to. <laughs> and you guys could add a little tailgate on the back, a little bumper on the back. So it all gets covered up. And just like on the other side, I'm going to add these little tire fender things. I cut away the extra that didn't fit properly and yeah, stuck it into place. Here's the front bumper. Remember I said we were going to hide it? I just trimmed a, p a piece of yellow gum paste, kind of thick, but made a nice long rectangle so it wraps all the way around and stick it on so that it covers up the, the little front piece of cake plate. Let everything dry and then set your truck on your tires and you've got a very cute fun, cartoony little dump truck. So I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. And as always, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.